lot of our work is about planning and thinking and discussing and in a way that's why working together kind of works. We have no formal training, not in photography nor in art. And so I think that naivety has kind of been quite helpful for us in a way because we just don't know the rules of engagement. So the work on show from, uh, from West Belfast is um, the result of a commission by an organisation called Belfast Exposed who invited us into this remarkable archive that they hold. And we're also showing a series of work which we present not as our work but as the work of a fictional artist called Dora Faber and she took the approach of a kind of August Sander style um, record, record of, a, of, a, of a community, photographing her friends and her friends' mothers and uh, in a very playful way, they started doing the series of nude photographs. I'm not a political artist, um, and most political art is didactic. It's one-dimensional. I'm interested in making pictures that are um, multi-tiered, that are complex. They represent a project called American Power, uh, which in the larger sense was about looking at the American landscape um, in all of the manifestations of, uh, you know, our cultural relationship to the, to the theme of energy. I always try to find the right balance to show a space that, that is um, recognizable, so the viewer know, uh, knows where he is. But at the same time, I sort of try to integrate elements that makes the image a lot more ambiguous. I wanted to almost create a studio inside the forest and then when I started to hang the plastic sheets just to delimitate a space I actually realized that that made this kind of this shape of, of a waterfall. And the second image uh, is called Promenade and it's, uh, it's actually the bobsleigh run of Sarajevo. So I was looking for my legs when I was at the, the Royal College and suddenly I, I came across this picture again and I thought wow I have to do something with it. You know, like some people say, oh, my grandfather was a photographer and we always had a camera and my father gave me his own. Like, I don't have a story like that. The ruffles and um, like the certain elements that you see in the garments um, are sort of inspired by Victorian fashion. The first one is chicken skin, the other one's tripe, uh, intestines and more tripe. But um, it's just going to butchers and like finding different textures, you know, that, that actually did look like fabric. It's easy to make quick pictures, but, um, but they're not necessarily enduring. It's how to make a work like this, and especially when you make a work at this scale. It's unforgiving. It has to hold the wall, and you, know, you have 40 other artists here in the show. You want to make a work that, that the viewer is going to feel um, provoked to go back and look at again. 